In this tutorial, we will be learning how to take a strip of paper and folding it or curling it to make different shapes. In the previous tutorials, we already learned how to take a strip of paper and overlap the ends to create a roll or a circle. So we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna take the strip of paper and create other geometric shapes like triangles, rectangles, and squares. So here's an example of a triangle, and I'm gonna show you how to make that one. First, let's start by getting a few strips of paper prepared. I'm using just floppy computer paper, and I'm gonna cut a few strips for myself. I've already got one, I want two more. Go ahead and get some paper for yourself and cut some long, thin strips to use. If you really want your line to be super straight, you can draw the line first, but by keeping my scissors straight ahead, I'm able to get a fairly straight line, and I'm okay with it being a little bit wonky. So I've got a few strips of paper here, and we're gonna start with the triangle. Now you already know triangles have three sides, right? One, two, three. But we need a fourth side so that we have room to overlap. So I'm gonna take my strip of paper, and you take yours too, and we're gonna start by folding it in half one time. Now we're gonna fold it in half a second time. When I unfold it, that gives me four equal pieces, and you can see my triangle right here. This fourth side I'm going to use to overlap to glue it down. So I'm gonna take and prop it up on its side. And of course, this is kind of an interesting shape right here, so you could glue that down there. But I'm gonna put some glue along this fourth side, and then I'm gonna roll this over onto that fourth side, and pinch it. And now I've got a triangle. This side's a little curved. If I want it to be straight again, I just need to pinch it a little bit to straighten it out. So that is a triangle, and you can make different size triangles depending on what length you start with. And when you put them up on their side, it kind of looks like a mountain range a little bit, or ears, I mean, it could be anything. All right, so that is the triangle. Let's try out a square. So for the square, we are going to do something similar. You don't always have to have a full length of overlap. So for the square, we're going to need four sides plus a little bit to overlap. So I'm gonna come almost to the end. Do you see I'm leaving a little gap for myself? And then I'm gonna fold it and crease. Then I'm gonna take the end and I'm gonna pull it back to where my other piece ended, leaving that same little gap. and I'm gonna fold that up a little bit to remind myself that that's my overlap part. I'm gonna unfold it. So I've got one, two, three, four sections plus a little bit for overlapping. And when I turn it on its side, you can see that it looks a bit like an open box. So let's close that up. I'm gonna fold this part back. and it wants to kind of scoot in, in order to hold it in place as the square, I need to glue down the overlap right there. So I'm gonna take the little overlap part and put some glue on it. And then press and hold. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, my square has a curved side. That's not what squares look like, so I need to go back and pinch the corners to adjust it to get the sides to be a little bit more straight. And there you have it, a square. So that's how to make shapes
looks like triangles and squares. Let's um, give you a moment. If you need to practice doing another one, you can replay the video. But that's how you make a triangle and a square. Hold on to these because you'll need them for the next tutorial, which is making tabs.